Okay, let's take a look around this uh, P registration. So either 1996 or 1997, Land Rover Defender 110 T, uh, sorry, 110 300 TDI County Station wagon, refinished in Oslo blue with a white roof. Originally, it was the uh, the sort of the lighter flat blue, um, but at some point in the past, it's been uh, um, resprayed Oslo blue. Um, with really nice half leather excess style interior which I'll come on to when we get round to it. Um, this one's in five seater spec, they, someone's taken the rear seats and belts out of the, uh, the load area. Obviously they can be put back in if needs be but at the minute it's in uh, five seater spec and it's very very low mileage. Um, 59,800 miles from new with massive service history um, so we think the mileage is genuine. Um, and obviously someone has restored, rebuilt, whatever, um, the vehicle at some point in the past. Um, I haven't uh, looked through the history that closely to see everything that's been done to it, but suffice to say, um, it seems a great deal of care and attention has been um, lavished on it at some point in the past, especially with regard to the interior. Anyway, uh, let's see what it's got spec-wise. We've got front steering guard. Uh, it's got heated door mirrors, because you can see the wires coming out underneath. Uh, heated screen. It's got a matching set of five General Grabber AT2 tyres on um, boost alloys, with spacers behind them, because the alloys really do fill the arches. Um, so they've got spacers behind them. Standard county station wagon of its age, in that it's got sunroof, alpine lights, uh, tinted glass. Having said that, the, the rear doors and the rear windows are a very, very dark tint. On this one. It's got Maasai full length side steps on it, stainless steel um, hinge bolts all, all over it. Around the tail end it's got a swing away spare wheel carrier, um, adjustable tow pack, rear step and rear mud flaps. And then let's just go back to inside. It's got a heated screen as well as the heated mirrors, I can't remember if I mentioned that before. Inside, absolutely superb. Uh, so it's got this um, full Exmoor trim, uh, half leather and ripstop seating system in it and the matching centre cubby box with the um, uh, cup holders in it. It's got full uh, modular matting system, front and rear, all the way across. Um, new style or new style gear lever gaiters. It's got a DAB stereo in it. Um, We've talked about the heated mirrors, and you see it's got a sports steering wheel on it. Um, all the headlining, as you can see, is all in great shape and has probably been replaced by the look of it because it's actually very, very good. Um, what do we have? Yes, in the back, or rather in the middle section, instead of the horrible, nasty, uh, uncomfortable rear seats, we've got these uh, Exmoor trim um, high back rear seats. Um, that are, that are again in matching half leather, match the front and absolutely fantastic. And it is, it's carpeted in the back and it's also carpeted in the load area which we'll come on to. And in the back here, as I say, in five seater spec and it's fully carpeted in the back. Coming out as if it's all marked on the video, it's not actually, it's just carpet, it's just where the sun's shining on it. Um, Right, let's go around and pick out some good bits and bad bits. Not much in the way of bad bits, in fairness. So I don't know how long ago it was painted, and it has been used since. There's a few you know, marks and the usual Defender um, bubbling up here and there on it, but, uh, but really very little. Around the front end, it's all very, very smart. That's just a polish mark there, from where we've polished it. Um, front bumper is showing a couple of signs of surface rust, just to the, to the, well, to the right, but to your left of the number plate little tiny bit on the other side. Looking down the near side, a couple of tiny parking dinks in the near side front door but otherwise really pretty good. Front of the near side front wing this is all good here. There are however a couple of blemishes in the paint just here and here and there on the wheel arch eyebrow. Not sure what's happened there. Um, roof all looks to be in good shape and that's uh, so it looks like it's been repainted. A bit of paint loss just there and the, gut, the gutters are becoming slightly discoloured, but that's uh, not uncommon. Screen rubber looks pretty new, bubbling up a bit just down here underneath the screen rubber and there. Um, 
near side scuttle corner looks very very good indeed a little bit of bubbling on the screen block there a post all good near side door we've got a couple of tiny marks just here very very slight sort of indentation just there and a couple of marks um, inside here we've talked we've, the interior is absolutely gorgeous on this one really really first class they basically ripped out the entire interior and started all over again, I think. It's also got the centre console, which I forgot to mention. Um, near side front door, bottom frame is excellent. Nothing wrong there at all. Looks like it's had new seat boxes in it as well at some point. BNC post, all good. Near side rear door, there's a couple of tiny hedge scratches in the paint on the near side rear door, but otherwise all excellent. And in here... Um, yeah, it's, well, we've talked about what's in here anyway. You can still see the original blue just up here. And in fact, it's lost its bit of trim that goes along there. Um, same on the other side as well, I think. Near side rear wing. Nothing to really comment on there. It's all spot on. Just some electrolytic reaction coming up just here on the back of the near side rear wing. Just where, it, uh, where that piece is. And some reaction here on the tub top trim, a bit there just below the handle on the rear door, and some on the base of the rear door just there. But uh, um, no more than you expect on one that should we say 10 years old, not over 20 years old. Um, rear door is a later type one because it's got the curved, um, it got, no, no, it's not a later type one, it's not got the curved bottom edge. Um, but in actual fact, the door itself feels spot on. Really, really nice. It's had a new door card on it, a new mud stuff door card. And in the back, as I say, uh, trimmed in carpet, but no, nothing else in there at the minute. Uh, I didn't mention about the near side rear door. Um, again, spot on. It's not rusty in the usual spot where they go there. And under here, it's all good as well. I do like this. Offside rear corner, all looks pretty good. Again, a little bit of reaction just coming up here on the uh, side trims, but down the offside, very, very straight, really. A couple of minor dinks again in the driver's door. They tend to come like that, those from, from the factory. Um, offside rear wing, all good. Offside rear door, all good. A couple of spots of reaction just come up on the closing panel down here. Um, Offside front door, all very good. A couple of spots of reaction, one there and one there, and a tiny parking dink just there. Offside front wing, all good. Scuttle corner, screen block, all good. Scuttle corner, nice. Again, a little bit of bubbling around the um, around the screen rubber. Um, let's have a look at this door. Again, door frames very, very good indeed. Nothing uh, cutting me there, shall we say. And so it's got this full modular matting system that covers all the seat boxes and everything. All the seats are in great shape. Um, no, I, I, say, I like this. Personal opinion, obviously, but uh, all good up there on the near side, on the offside rear door and down there. Yeah. One of my favourites in stock at the minute. We just sold my favourite this morning, so this is the this is the new favourite. Um, yeah, that's it. My name's Simon. Oh, down here we've got the. the it's, you can see the sticking out. It's um, it's a trickle charger for, that's connected to the battery. It's not uh, some sort of wiring hanging down that shouldn't be. Um, there we have it. My name is Simon. You can reach me in the office on uh, 0118 907 1495 or go to our website which is www.motodrome.co.uk To clarify, when I say a trickle charger, it hasn't actually got the trickle charger there. That's the plug that you can attach a trickle charger to that's sitting under the bumper. Anyway, end. <laughs>